Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle, and today I'm gonna do another video on some ideas for small groups. Uh, it seems to be a very popular topic, and um, I have more ideas. So let's get started. Okay, so making letters the shapes of letters. Um, you can have popsicle sticks, um, and obviously these are mostly for those uppercase um, letters that have straight lines, so it's a great opportunity to talk about um, the shapes that they see in letters, um, the straight lines and the curves, um, big lines, little lines, um, and having them create letters with those. Um, you can also use not those kind of um, popsicle sticks, but you could also use, um, if you're doing a tree study, you could collect up um, some sticks from outside and use those as well. And there was one year where we um, we did that in a small group, and then we ended up taking um, pictures of each of the letters, and then we put together a whole um, alphabet book of the twig or stick letters that the students made. So it was a really great class book that came out of that small group. In my school district a um, couple of years ago, we had, um, it used to be called Handwriting Without Tears and now it's called Learning Without Tears. Um, I was not a fan of it because I didn't really like the idea of teaching, you know, having those strict lessons, but we had all the pieces. So having these pieces to um, make letters, I think would be really great because it has the big curves and the little curves and it has the big lines and the little lines. So it's kind of a fun way to, to make um, letters here as well. When I um, do this activity in small groups, I always use our black um, boards. Again, it's just a canvas that I covered with black felt, stapled it on, um, but it's a place for children to focus their work. So as they're making their, their letters on here, I don't know, it just seems to, like if you have a look at it, okay, that's not a very good A, but you know, like it, it pops and it's just um, a place for students to sort of focus their work right on here. You could also give them a certain number of sticks um, and have them create shapes. So maybe giving them three and asking them what shapes can you create and just not telling them a shape, um, giving them four sticks, giving them um, like six and eight. So seeing five, you know, different numbers of what kind of shapes they can make um, with popsicle sticks. And then of course you are during this time, you are recording what letters do they know? Um, maybe they, what letters do they, uh, what letter sounds do they know? And then also the shapes. And can they describe those shapes? Thinking about those um, shape attributes, four sides, points, um, you know, all those kinds of things. Small groups um, is a great time to review books that you've already read. So um, doing some dramatic, um, dramatic rereads, I guess I would call it that, where the kids get to dramatize or act it out. Um, so, you know, a simple one to do is having stick puppets. These are just um, photocopied and laminated and then stuck on popsicle sticks. Um, and actually we have, I put on there what they were, um, kind of helps the kids remember what order they go in, but there's these stick puppets so everybody gets one of them. Um, it's a simple way of doing a, a story retell. Um, I also have, I show this one in many videos because I'm, I'm really proud of it. Um, it's the mitten and then inside are, um, the little animals that were part of that. Um, and then it's just really fun to, for the kids to be able to stuff them in the mitten to get make sure that they all fit in there. Um, this could be something that the children can do as well. Um, they can have um, be assigned a character. Maybe you have headbands or maybe the students made little headbands that go along with the animals um, and they can pretend to be the animals. And maybe you have a designated area on a carpet where is the mitten. And then once that little mouse gets in there, everybody pops off or jumps out or explodes out of the mitten. So um, I think it's a great time to, again, be revisiting those books you've already read, uh, maybe talking about those, some of the vocabulary that maybe they um, you haven't had a chance to discuss. Um, yeah. So another great thing to do during small groups is some observational drawing or sketching. So, you know, depending on what your topic is, you could have um, a plant or a flower. 
um, you might go outside and do a tree. So I'm trying to think of other things that we did. Insects. Maybe you somebody caught an insect outside and you're going to be um, observing the insect and drawing it. So um, just thinking about what you're studying at the time. And then um, I like to, when I'm sketching or drawing or um, something like that, I sort of describe what I'm seeing. Like I noticed that this side of the tree is very straight, but this side has a curve on it. And let me see if I can draw that. Um, so just kind of doing that um, self-talk to sort of um, share what you are observing. Small groups is a really good time to be showing um, the children how to do something so that when they go into the centers or choice time, they it's something that they can do. Um, and I love books, books that the children are making. So a great thing to show them how to do is to, how to make a book. So grabbing the white paper, showing them how to fold it in half, showing them how to take a piece of colored paper if they want a piece of colored paper, folding it in half, wrapping it around it, how to use the stapler, um, you know, where they should write their name because they are the author, the title page. So, um, you know, that is something that you're teaching them. But then when they go to that um, literacy area or the library area, then that's something that they can do on their own. And you might even have them make um, a new book for um, each of the studies. That's something that I really liked to do is we had one of when we were studying trees, um, we each had our own um, sort of little discovery journal or book um, that they could draw in and write when they were um, learning about trees or a new topic. Sorting is a fun thing to do during small groups. So it could be anything, it could be, um, insect not an insect so you have a little basket or um, you know a bucket and the children take turns picking something out and is it is an insect is it not an insect um it could be the rhyming thing so you have you know different pictures or objects that might rhyme um same and sounds so sorting the um, objects and pictures that start with the same sound um uh, shapes so it could be you know circles and spheres um you know, 3D and 2D, squares and rectangles. And this is also a good time to show the children that you can sort things um, in different ways. So maybe you have some buttons and they're different shapes, different sizes, they have different numbers of holes, they have different colors. So it's a great time to show them that um, you can sort them, but then also you can sort them again in a different way, looking at some other kind of characteristic of the item. I was trying to think of um, put out magazines or newspapers and have the children cut out the letters um, in their name and then glue it all together. Um, and I think that would be like thinking of a purpose of that. Maybe it's something that they're going to use to label their, um, their cubby or their mailbox or maybe putting it beside their artwork. So having them create their name and then also have a purpose of, of why they're creating their name. So I think that's what I'm gonna share for you today for small group ideas. Um, one thing I wanted to mention too is that when you do a small group activity, after you do it, don't just take all the materials and put them away take them and put them in the interest area. So if you're doing bookmaking, that goes in that the library area. Um, if you're doing um, some sorting, you know, that goes in toys and games and you put it out on the table or on the shelf for children to take it off. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, drawing and sketching goes in the art. Um, you know, magazines, glue, and scissors also can go in art. So putting it out there for children to use um, after you've kind of sort of shown them how to use those things um, and who knows what they'll do with them once they get into the interest areas. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope um, those small group activities were helpful. Um, I have some more and I will try to record another video soon, but thanks for watching. And if you ever have any questions, um, put them in the, the comment section. I do reply to every one of your questions. Um, and that's it. Have a happy day. Thank you.